Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my baby girl's seven month update. Maeve turned seven months old on the 8th of December, so I am a little late posting this. She's actually now eight months old, but I wrote it all down at the time and I just want to obviously film them to keep them as a memory. So all the information that I've given you was what she was like when she was seven months old. Wait, I finally had Maeve weighed. The last time I got her weighed was when she was four months, but I got her weighed this month and she weighed 20 pounds and five ounces, which I think is rather a lot. She's quite, she's not very long, so she is quite small, um, but she's a little chubber, which um, to give you a bit of perspective was like right in the middle of the 91st percentile. And I think that average is like 50. Daily, our daily routine really went out of the window when Maeve had chicken pox when she was six months old. It took us such a long time to get back into a routine, um, but I really tried to focus on that this month um, because I knew it wasn't good for her to just not have any sort of structure. So we really worked on getting back into her routine. I stopped feeding Maeve during the night. I had started up again um, when she had chicken pots because it was the only way to settle her and comfort her when she was all itchy and spotty and because she wasn't very well um i just let her do what she wanted really um but now she's feeling better again um i knew i had to stop doing that because she didn't really need feeding through the night as <laughs> she was quite large so she definitely didn't need food so what I've been doing, if she does wake in the night, I just go into her room and put her dummy back in. Maeve has always had a dummy. Um, I gave her a dummy because I was breastfeeding and I would rather her sort of suck on a dummy than on my nipple when she's just trying to comfort herself and she's not actually feeding. So she doesn't mind having the dummy, she likes it. Maeve has her breakfast in the morning, usually around 8 a.m. This is before we take Rosalie to preschool. She will have porridge or she will have toast. Once we get back from dropping Rosalie at preschool, Maeve normally sleeps then. I will normally feed her mid-morning while Rosie's at preschool and normally this sends her to sleep if she isn't asleep already but sometimes we'll come back from preschool and she's fallen asleep um, and if she has I'll just leave her in the I'll just leave her in the pram and then when she wakes up I'll give her a feed then. We collect Rosalie from preschool at 11.45 and then the first thing we do when we get home is have lunch so we normally have lunch about 12 p.m. Maeve is now eating Rosalie nearly always asks for a picnic lunch, so I give Maeve something similar. It's just a mixture of like little snacky bits, so Maeve will have softer snacky bits, so she'll have like a sandwich and some cheese melts and a bit of fruit, um, and Rosalie will have the same. Sometimes I give them biscuit as well. I will then breastfeed Maeve again at some point in the afternoon. When I do this largely depends on what our plans are, whether we're going out, whether Maeve's fallen asleep without a feed, or whether I feed her to get her to have a nap. Um, she normally sleeps for an hour and a bit in the afternoon as well. Our dinner time is around 5, 5.30 and we all sit right together to eat. Maeve is now having the same dinner that everyone else has, so we all eat the same. So I'll just give her the softer bits of the meal. So like, but I mean, she eats chips, she eats meat, she eats uh, spaghetti bolognese, she'll eat pasta. So she pretty much eats everything we eat now. Last night we had chicken and pitters and obviously she ate the chicken from that and then she had the bits of pitta cut up into strips and vegetable chips and she loved those. After dinner we have bath and bed. Rosalie and Maeve bath together now so Maeve will sit in her little chair and yeah they just play with toys in the bath. After her bath I will dry her off and get her ready for bed and put her in her sleep suit and then I will breastfeed her. Well, I'll put her in her sleeping bag first and then I'll breastfeed her in her sleeping bag and then lay her in her cot. She's normally in bed by 7pm, 7.30 if it's been a bit of a hectic day, if it's a bit of a later night, but always in bed by 7.30 I would say. May's favourite toy is probably the playmat. Now she's rolled over, she doesn't, she's not crawling but she is getting about and she likes to move around now so she's gone back to the playmat whereas she didn't like that so much because she was just stuck on her back. Um, now she's sort of moving around the mat. Um, she's enjoying that more more so than the jumperoo, I would say. She, I don't think she likes the jumperoo anymore because obviously she's stuck in one place. I've brought her walker down, um, so she's just getting the hang of that. Bedtime, as I said, Maeve goes to bed at 7 p.m. Usually. We have dinner and then bath. As I said, the girls will bath together, so Maeve will sit in her bath chair and Rosalie will play with her and they have all the toys in the bath and play with all those for a few minutes. The length of time depends on how much time we've got before bed. 
Sometimes it's a quick bath, sometimes it's a longer one. I then get Maeve dried and dressed in her pyjamas, which is usually a sleep suit, and then I put her in her sleeping bag. I'm still using the Snuzz sleeping bag because I find the nappy flap so handy. It's actually in naught to six months, um, but Maeve still fits in it quite nicely. Um, she is a little short for her age, I think. I've only just sort of come to this real realisation, but I think she's on the short side, which is why she still fits. It definitely has a lots of room. I really love the nappy changing flap and it just makes life so much easier in the mornings because when I change her bum, as soon as I get her up, I don't disturb her as much and I don't have to take her sleeping bag off. I can just change her bum, zip her back up and then normally give her an early morning feed and hopefully she'll go back off to sleep. I now put Maeve in her cot all night. So when she's in her sleeping bag, she goes in her cot. And as I said, if she wakes in the night, I just go and put her dummy back in. I don't take her out and I don't feed her. Feeding. Now Maeve has reached seven months old. We are fully into our weaning journey. As I said, Maeve pretty much eats everything now. She likes to feed herself with picky bits. She's enjoying that more than being spoon fed. It's quite a battle to get purees into her. So I still do give them her, but I don't give them her as much. She much prefers to have like a soft sandwich. So like cream cheese in a sandwich or some cheese puffs or a rice cake or banana, something like that, that she can hold on to and feed herself. I'm still exclusively breastfeeding Mae. So she has about five feeds a day. These are around 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. before bed. I do still demand feed her. That's just a guide and I'm not very religious about it. It has to fit into our plans and what we're doing. And obviously if she can't be settled by anything else, then I would feed her. But she very rarely cries. I think probably because she <laughs> has a dummy in her mouth. But yeah, she very rarely cries. So I don't really need to demand feed her that often. I still feed on both sides at each feed. Sizes, I'm still dressing Maeve in six to nine clothes. As I said before, she seems to have little legs as some of her three to six month leggings still fit her. She is in size four nappies. Milestones. Dribbling, the dribble bibs are a daily feature. She is dribbling lots, but we still have no teeth yet. So I don't know if they're moving around back there, but I think Rosalie was quite late getting tea, so I don't expect her to get teeth anytime soon. Drinking out of her beaker. Maeve drinks out of her beaker really well. She turns it upside down and sips the water out really nicely. Blowing raspberries. Um, I don't know if this is a new thing Maeve's learned, but she seems to be blowing raspberries a lot. That is like, she sort of screws her face up and goes <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Rolling. Maeve has learned to roll, but she still doesn't roll over that much. But I think it's my own fault really, because I don't really put her down on her mat that often. We're normally always rushing around somewhere. And if I do put her down, then Rosalie sort of gets involved with her and she doesn't really have much time to just be. Um, I'm gonna start trying to do that when Rosie's at preschool, but that's normally her nap time. So I don't know what to do about that. Supporting her head, she can fully support her head now. Sitting up, she can sit up, but only if she is balanced. She soon sort of like goes to one side. She needs to, you need to prop her up with something if you want her to sit for any long periods of time. She makes lots of noise. Maeve is a very noisy baby. She makes lots of noises and sounds and she mimics any sound that you make. She'll do it back to you. She doesn't seem to be shouting as much as she used to be. I'm not sure if I've just got used to it or if she's quietened down a bit. <laughs> but yeah, she doesn't seem to be quite as shouty. Grabbing and picking up things. Maeve likes to play with her play mat, as I said, and she'll grab the and play with things hanging down. She also pulls those little things for her to play on the mat when she's on her tummy and she loves scratching those and pulling things about. She can definitely get things now. Like if she wants something, she'll grab it, reach and grab it and pull it to herself to play with. Seven months old, she is just growing by the day. I can't wait to see what's in store for her. I'm so excited to see her personality develop and see what she likes and what she likes to do, what she likes to play with. I feel like in the next few months, it's just gonna go boom and she's gonna learn to do so much and we're gonna really get to know her and watch her little personality blossom. Yeah, I think there's big changes afoot in the next few months and I'm really not ready for it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.